this is Kathy Nussel Rose, CFO on the Go, and I want to give you a little flash demo on how easy it is to navigate within Sage Intact. First, I want to give you a little background of what you're looking at. You're looking at one instance of Intact. You're looking at a controller's dashboard who has access to everything within the system. I've set her up this way. She has full permission. She has admin function. She can access all of the applications. So I just want to give you that little background so you know exactly what you're looking at. And we'll cover dashboards and different aspects of the program at a later time. But for today, I just want to show you how easy, how easy it is for you to navigate within the system. So again, you're looking at a dashboard. You can configure this to pop up uh, through personal settings when you sign on. And you'll have all of the information right at your fingertips the minute you turn it on. So the first method that I want to show you is pretty standard. Most people are used to seeing this type of navigational method where it's just a drop down and you'll see all of the applications that you have access to. And like I said, our controller has access to all of, all of the applications that this company is subscribed to. So she'll see everything. Not everybody may have access to see company information or uh, general ledger, depending on their, their work roles. Another thing that I want to uh, mention since we're on this is you'll see that I have several different dashboards set up. Dashboards, you can create as many as you like. They're unlimited. You can, uh, those are also permission-based. So if she wants to create a dashboard for a few of the employees that are working under her, she can go ahead and do that and secure it by uh, permissions. So to access any of these applications, you just roll your mouse over there and it'll take you directly into that application. And within that application, you'll see all of the activities that you're able to perform within that application. And again, they're permission-based, so not everyone will see all of these options. The second, the second method is this overview. And all of the applications have this, has this little overview option. When you choose overview, it will give you a um, icon view of the application and the different tasks and other operations that you're able, able to perform within that application. If you look in the center lane, this is where we happen to be in the purchasing um, application. You'll see it's set up in the order in which these activities occur. So the task lane is the main lane that you would go to in order to perform the daily purchasing tasks. And remember, it's permission-based. Not everyone will be able to see all of these tasks. They may be grayed out and non-accessible. So let's go back to our dashboard, and I will show you the next method of navigation. And that is through bookmarks. Bookmarks are exactly the same as uh, using bookmarks on a web application page. You land on a page, you uh, hover over bookmark this page, you click it, and it will save the bookmark. You can name it whatever name that you prefer. I love using bookmarks because you can set up if you have a certain activity that you perform daily or you're doing something within a certain order, I recommend setting up bookmarks. They're easy to get to. You can number them. You can move them in any order you wish to have them. They're great to have for training new employees for certain job functions. You can go in. You can set up the dashboard, set up their bookmarks and it will give them a, a head start on learning their job. And the next method of navigation within Sage Intact is our favorites. Um, favorites is kind of similar to bookmarks, you, and, and it's 
independent to each application. So as you can see, I'm on a dashboard. I've marked several different dashboards um, as my favorite. If you go into any of the applications and uh, look at the favorites, I've also bookmarked favorite, favorites in other applications. So favorites is independent to the application. So if you find yourself in the general ledger and you want to look um, up a journal entry or a report very quickly, something that you do quite often, your favorites is a great name great way to navigate to this. So I want to come back. I bookmarked my controller dashboard. I'm going to go back to my controller dashboard. There's other ways to navigate within the system. You can navigate inside of these reports. Um, Intact is well known for its drill down capabilities, but we're going to go over that at, in future flash demos. So thank you for joining us, and I hope to hear from you soon. Give us a call, and we would be happy to explain more about Sage Intact and its functionality. Have a great day.